Okay, hi everyone. This is another tutorial, Teams this time, and I'm looking into an issue to do with the files section that you get when you create a channel. So whenever you create a channel, you get this file section here where you as the, the owner of the team, you're able to upload files. And so here I've got the channel which I've created, where I've got some folders and files inside. But also at the same time, the general channel which is created as soon as you make a team, again, you get a file section here where you can upload files. So the issue that we're going to look at today is uh, basically team members, not just the owner, but team members also have the right to edit and delete or even add to the files section. This is a bit of a concern because as a teacher, you might want to open a file to show in class and some student might have modified either the PowerPoint or the Word document or the PDF somehow. So what we're going to look at is I'm going to show you how you can modify the settings so that the files sections of your channels are view only for the team members, i.e. the students. So to do this from any channel, if you go to the files section, and it doesn't matter which channel it is, it could be anyone, we're going to click on these horizontal ellipses and we're going to go to open in SharePoint. Now this is going to open the SharePoint page and we want to make sure we're on documents. Okay, and that, that load up. Now, so we've got here in the document section four areas. Can you see four folders? These four folders represent the files section in each of the channels. So I've got general, practical word, practical PowerPoint, and unit one theory. Each one of these channels has got a files section. And that file section is represented in the documents area here, which we've just opened up. So if I click on, let's say, the practical word, this one here, I select it. I make sure the details section here is open. If it's not, you can just click on the ellipsis here, go to details, and this section should open. Now, from here, with this one selected, it says that there are four groups which have access. So we're gonna click on this button here, and these are the four groups. The one is me, the owner of the team. Then you've got, and if I place my mouse over this so you can see, properly, it says, IGCSE option one 2020 the owners it has them under the owner section here we've got visitors this is can view which means they're only allowed to read they can't edit or delete and then you've got members now members are your students and you can see here it says can edit I'm going to change this to change to view only and now all the members not the owners can only view the files in this section. I'm now gonna to go to the next one in the general section, because I wanna do this to all my file sections. Again, I'm gonna find the one which is the members area here, click on this and go to change to view only. And I'm gonna do this to all of my channels. And that's basically it. So let's just finish this off. Now, hopefully, Teams will at some point in the near future make this just a little bit easier. And hopefully, they will allow um, selective permission so you can choose which students have read and write access and which have you only, if this is something which is necessary. But as I said, for schools, I don't think it's that much of a problem. As long as we're able to lock this down to view only, now these sections here, the file sections of the channels created are view only. Students cannot delete them, they cannot modify them. They can, however, view them and they can download them. You have to keep in mind though that if you now create a new channel, that channel will have a file section and you're gonna to need to go to that file section. Again, go to Open SharePoint, you will find in documents, the new folder for files, and you need to make that also view only for the members. That's about it.